So today we have a 2004 Chevy Silverado. It's a 4x4 extended cab, uh, 1500. And I think it's got the 5.3, but it could have the 4.8. It has a, a unique ticking noise that you hear on acceleration from a stop. It's got roughly 290,000 kilometers on it. I'm gonna set the phone outside here. See if we can hear this thing. It'll only do it on acceleration going forward. But I also noticed that if I put it in reverse and back up, it doesn't do it going backwards. But when you step on the brake, going backwards, it does it. I have a funny feeling I know what it is. Hmm. We'll see. So I'm parked on a hill with the front wheels up, elevated, sitting still. I think it's the starter drive walking back into the flywheel teeth. That's what I think. I think the shift fork in the starter is, is actually worn and the starter drive is touching the flywheel teeth. You can hear it. On flat level ground it doesn't do it. But with the front wheels elevated, it does it. And it does it if you're going forward and if you back up and step on the brake. Well, looks like I called it right. There's the starter. You can see the the drive just walks its way out. The fork is broken in there. It's amazing the starter was actually working. So you can see the, the wear on the end of the starter drive teeth here where they've been randomly rattling up against the uh, flywheel teeth. Of course when you accelerate going forward this would do that and when you apply the brakes in reverse it would do that and it would go in into the ring gear itself so you can actually see little shiny spots on the tips of the teeth. We're going to turn the ring gear around and uh, inspect all the flywheel teeth in this area here this is a bit of a challenge to get out. I find if you undo the battery cables first, and uh, I'm gonna have to clean up these cables and, and remove this shield. You can get the starter out of there pretty good. So we'll clean up the block surface, inspect the flywheel teeth, and put a, another starter in this thing. So there's the S-terminal wire cleaned, the battery cable cleaned, the mounting surface on the block clean. The flywheel teeth are fine. We've turned the engine over and looked at them and they're fine. So we're gonna put the new starter in. There's a Wilson Reman starter. You can see that the drive doesn't fall out like that one did. Uh, probably could fix that other starter. It's probably got a broken fork. It's amazing, like I said, it's amazing and actually started the vehicle. So there's the starter reinstalled, bolts torqued, connections cleaned, shield back on. I find the use of this little gearless ratchet here very handy for installing those bolts and then tweaking them with a small wrench afterwards. So that's it for now. I think this thing is going to be fixed. We're going to check out the suspension and steering on this thing and uh, call it a wrap.